What's up, this is Jason from discover.smashpop.net and you're looking at the review of the Nokia Lumia 1020. It's the latest in Malaysian market currently and uh, this is it. It comes in yellow, black and white. It's got a 4.5 inch screen Gorilla Glass and at the, at the side here we can actually see the camera shutter button, the power button and also the volume toggle. At the back here we have the camera, 41 megapixels camera with LED lighting for videography and xenon flash for photos and uh, it's got a camera shutter here as well I'm not sure if you can see it and the body is actually very nice smooth black uh, smooth yellow mats on the left side there's nothing on the bottom we have uh, the speaker the earphone uh, the micro usb port and uh, earphone jack is actually at the top all right now let's check out the interface it's running windows phone 8 and uh, you can actually resize these tiles. It's basic shortcuts to your apps and also to certain contents in your app, right? So if you want to view something bigger, you can just enlarge it or if you don't want, you can just put it into this size like what I have it originally. Now, um, before I show you the camera, let's check out some of the stuff pre-installed. So basically, um, this is basically the, the Mi Hub. It shows you the latest update on your, your social networks. And then you can also post an update to, let's say, Twitter, Facebook, or any social networks that you have registered to. And then uh, you can swipe here to check out your notifications, Facebook, Twitter. If anyone tweeted you, anyone commented on your photos, you can actually check it out here. And uh, read the comments as well. And you can also leave your own comments here. Now, apart from that, let's check out. The camera, I'm using this app called Nokia Camera. It was just launched a few days ago at Nokia World in uh, Abu Dhabi, which I was there. And uh, it's actually a combination of their previous two cameras, Nokia Pro Camera and Nokia Smart Camera. Now, as you can see, we have the Nokia Pro Camera here. And uh, if we swipe up, we have video. And if we swipe again, we have Nokia Smart Camera. Nokia Pro Camera basically allows you to capture photos using manual settings. This is the exposure settings. And then we also have the shutter speed and uh, we have the ISO settings. And this is the manual focus, uh, autofocus toggle. You can just manual focus on stuff if you want. And this is the white balance. You want it to be yellow or blue, warm or cold. It's all in the tip of your hand. And uh, let's just say, if you don't want to do all these things, we can do uh, an auto settings and uh, just tap on a subject once it's tapped oh let me switch off the flash okay once it's tapped you can actually see even though i am shaking the phone the images does not shake too much because it has a built-in anti-shake now let me snap this picture and then uh, let me show you a preview of the picture uh this is it now let me zoom in there you go, it's actually very sharp. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's actually very sharp. It also has this feature called reframe. So basically, if you don't want to take uh, this kind of shot, you can always crop and uh, reframe it and focus on certain things. Let's just say you want a photo like this. You can just save it and it will save it as a new picture. Uh, to me, if you ask me if this is a good phone, I would say yes, it's a good phone because it's very solid. It has a great camera, great screen. Uh, it's 4.5 inch. If you prefer a bigger screen, then you probably need to look for something else or wait for the new 1520, which will be out in the market very soon. That one has a 6 inch screen, but this is 4.5, which is good enough for you know a lot of people. Then uh, looking at the apps, it actually has a lot of apps. This is Instagram, we have Spotify. We have Twitter, we have Facebook. Let me just check out the Instagram and just show you how it looks like, all right? So, um, this is a third-party app. It's better, It's actually better than the, the Instagram app. As you can see, I have notifications. I have people adding me and stuff, right? I can just swipe to view the notifications. I can click on this to sh see the activities of the people I'm following. I can uh, swipe here to see popular photos. I can swipe again to see my profile. As you can see, it looks very nice here, right? Now, some of the additional features on this app that you don't get on Instagram is actually this. If you tap on uh, option, 
the thing will flip and you can actually save a picture into your gallery and that's it image save so you can actually save anyone's photos into your phone gallery you can also regram a picture it's just like retweeting or sharing on facebook so it says regram someone's name and then the, the picture so you can just post that person's picture onto your um uh, your own Twitter newsfeed. Now, apart from that, you can post a picture as well. Uh, if you go to this segment, it says collage. That means you can actually create collage from this Instagram app. Now, now you have one photo. You can just increase the columns and increase the rows. Now you can uh, tap and then you insert a new picture. Let's just say I want to insert this picture and then now you get. A this if you want to edit the border size just tap outside and click on settings you can actually set the size of the border and you can even increase the radius so that it goes curvy and stuff all right just a little bit more before i, I end up this instagram preview uh click yes and guess what i can actually blur any part i want apart from just radial and linear i press this i can actually select the area that i want to blur I can also select the blur level. As you can see, it's very blur now and it's not very blur now. I can just increase. And uh, the opacity, I can also do this. So basically, you can do a lot of things on this Instagram app that you cannot do on iPhone and Android. Um, apart from that, you can also do a lot of stuff. Like I, I'm just going to show you Twitter. It looks the same, right? But let's just say you want to search for something. And I want to search for, say... Um, uh, this hashtag called uh, Nokia, right? So now I'm searching for Nokia. And uh, these are all the results that come out after I search for Nokia, right? If you want to uh, follow up on a certain search that you don't want to miss out, you can always pin this search to your home screen and it will be there. So the moment you tap this live tile, it will just launch straight to your search without you launching the Instagram app and retyping your search, um, you know, categories and stuff. Camera is good. You got Instagram, you got Twitter, you got Facebook. So basically, I would say this is a very nice phone, although it's a little bit expensive for nice, but two four nine nine um, bundled with something that is called um, the the Nokia Lumia. 1020 camera grip basically right the moment you plug this thing into the grip it charges the phone do you hear the sound it charges the phone now you can see that the phone is actually charging um, it's very simple you also have the the double press thing to focus and you can just take a picture by just double pressing and continue pressing it there you go so it is good because uh it holds like a camera. It feels like a camera. It charges your phone. It's great for, you know, travels and stuff. And apart from that, it also has this little hole at the bottom for you to put in your in, uh, your tripod. So it comes with this. It comes with a gorilla pod and uh, the phone as well. Everything is about 2499 A little bit expensive, but it's kind of worth the money because you get all these uh, extra accessories.